There are numerous videos with the title Forex Best Indicator, but majority of them do not demonstrate how to use them properly, i.e. do not include live trading examples or demonstrate that they actually work. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the best Forex indicator, which I believe many people overlook due to its age. I'll also show you real-time trading examples and market conditions to watch for maximum profit potential. That's right, it's the moving average indicator. This indicator is fantastic from beginning to end. It can show you everything you need to know to become a profitable Forex trader, while also keeping your charts clean for trading clarity. So what is the moving average indicator? It's a widely used technical indicator that smooths out price trends by filtering out the noise. From random short-term price fluctuations, moving averages can be constructed in several different ways and employ different numbers of days for the averaging interval. Now, let's take a look at the charts. This is EURUSD currency pair on the monthly time frame. It's a completely clean chart with what we call Japanese candlesticks. Blue represents price movement upward, while white indicates price movement downward. Let us now attempt to make sense of the situation and incorporate the best forex indicator into our trading charts. We will accomplish this by navigating to the indicator section and typing moving average. If you are using a different chart in software, the term may be simple moving average. Once you have completed your task, make sure to click on the moving average or simple moving average to add the indicator to your chart. For the time being, to keep things simple, we will only use one moving average. Additionally, let us modify the default value for our moving average. Change the period from 9 to 200. This provides us with the long period moving average, which serves as an excellent practical demonstration of the moving average indicator's value. Consider a real illustration of how the moving average indicator acts as an excellent supply and demand zone. This example demonstrates how the candlesticks behaved when they hit the 200 moving average twice. Each time the candlesticks tried to go lower, they were met by our moving average indicator and the price immediately responded bullishly and rose. Now we can examine the third attempt during which the price behaved differently and broke our 200 moving average. While this does happen and an indicator is not a guarantee of success, the fact that the price has just reached a new low may indicate a potential opportunity to profit. Given that the price has broken through our moving average, we may consider shorting this currency pair. We may enter our trade with a favorable risk reward ratio and expect for a high return on our investment. That is, however, what a rookie forex trader would do. We want to be outstanding and so we need to gather further information before we even consider entering this trade. So what further facts do we truly need to consider? We are searching for confirmations and the more of them you have, the stronger your trade will be. If you're not using enough of them, the trade is probably not sufficient enough for you to enter. Let's draw our support line, which becomes a resistance once it's crossed by the candlesticks and vice versa. As you can see, we are now established our support zone and the candlesticks have successfully broken through our prior supported zone. Additionally, we have a monthly decline indicating a continued negative tendency. These are now considered as confirmation. The monthly support level has been breached, the 200 moving average has been crossed and the monthly chart indicates a bearish bias. So in total, we have three entry confirmations. Now let's take a look at the daily and the monthly time frames side by side. As you can see, the daily time frame moving average is well above the candlesticks, meaning that the bearish sell pressure has already been very strong. We can also see a break of the monthly support we have drawn breaking on the daily time frame, showing further bearish pressure and momentum. Additionally, on the last daily candle to close off the month, we had a bearish engulfing candle as confirmation for further sell pressure. Now that we have opened the daily and the 4 hourly time frame side by side and we've shown that our 200 moving average is much higher than the candlesticks, we need to add more indicators to our charts. 
add the following two moving averages with periods 25 and 50 using the same process as you saw in the beginning of the video. Once done, you should now have two shorter period moving average lines across all your charts. Now, the 25 and 50 moving average will work as both support and of course, in this case, resistance. If the candlesticks are close to or in between the 25 and 50 moving average, some kind of rejection or resistance should kick in. Thus, we can see that a bearish engulfing candle has formed on the daily period, while the 4 hourly period is bouncing off the moving average, indicating further bear pressure resulting in the market plummeting. To recap, we get our first confirmation of the monthly time frame's 200 moving average break. The market was unable to maintain our broken monthly support line from earlier in this video. We have examined the high and low time frame periods and saw that all of the moving averages are heading downward, signaling further bearish pressure. We have identified bearish engulfing candles on both the daily and 4 hourly time frames as confirmation to enter the market. Thus, we have 4 to 5 confirmations to enter this trade short. This is what you should strive for in order to have a reasonable probability of profiting from the trade. If you have anything less, it's likely it's not good enough. To enter and profit from this trade, we would most likely utilize the 4 hourly time frame. We will simply set our stop loss level above both of the shorter period moving averages. In this example, 80 pips stop loss and our take profit level to roughly 160 pips at a minimum for a risk to reward ratio of 2 to 1. However, if the market continues to trend down without trying to break through our 25 and 50 moving averages, you might close a portion of the trade and keep the remainder open for additional profit possibilities. Let's put what we learned into practice. This is USD Japanese Yen and the pair is following a very similar path to what we saw when Euro USD reversed. Although it hasn't yet touched the 200 moving average, we can still see a bounce of it as well as breaking a significant level of downtrend, indicating bullish pressure. If we have a look at the monthly and the weekly timeframes, we can see that the break above the 200 moving average has occurred, indicating bullish pressure. Now, let's examine the weekly and the daily timeframes and add the 25 and 50 moving averages to the daily period to see if it follows the same approach as the Euro US dollar. As you can clearly see on the daily period, the 200 moving average is far below the candlesticks, while the 25 and 50 moving average is just below the candlesticks following them closely. On the 4 hourly time frame, the same thing occurs, resulting in a bullish engulfing candle with all the moving averages, 200, 25 and 50 all pushed together, indicating that if everything is rising upward, this is extremely likely to continue as a competent trader always follows the trend to make a profit. And as you can see, I just entered the buy trade on USD Japanese Yen, which is doing really well. The same approach was utilized on other currencies, albeit on shorter periods than the ones shown here. From the trading view chart standpoint, our trade is progressing beautifully to the upside, following the moving averages and even if a pullback occurs, we have our moving averages protecting us, acting as moving support zones to hopefully absorb the fall and continue rising to maximum profit gain. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, make sure to smash that like button. It really does mean a lot, helps my channel grow. And if you would like to join our premium trading group, it's the first link down in the description below. And for now, that's it from me. See you later traders, have a nice day, goodbye.